Hello, 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 my dear student. In this storyline number three, we will be talking about energy conversion. We have the storyline introduction. How does this machine transfer energy? And then we will revisit it again. We have those investigations that we will be talking about, investigations or lessons to be covered. We have energy, collisions, thermal energy, and electromagnetic energy. First one is investigation seven. It talks about energy. We will introduce the investigation phenomena, and then we have lots of experiences. How do we classify work and energy? What is mechanical energy? And how do we con conserve energy? And then we have the assessment, which is the revisiting anchoring phenomena. We will learn what is energy, how energy transfers from one form to another. And then we have the exercises that we will be talking about. So what is energy here represented by bungee jumping, which is an extreme sport that many people enjoy. For me, I would like to try it one day. Then we will classify work and energy, positive, negative, and zero work. When it's positive, when it's negative, and when there is no work done, even if there is a force that is applied. Because, you know, work is a force in a displacement. So there is a certain angle that should be applied there. Here are some, some examples of how applying the force in the same as the displacement direction. So work is positive. In the other situation, when you stop a sliding basket as an example, force that is applied in the opposite direction of the displacement. So the work that is done is negative. And in the last case, when you carry a box at constant speed and high, the upward force of holding the box and the displacement are perpendicular to each other. No work is caused by holding up the box. We will take so many other examples and assure that you understand the concept clearly and through. Regarding calculating work, we have this formula that we will discuss, which is Work equal force times distance multiplied by cosine theta. That's why we said when force and distance are perpendicular to each other, the work is done zero because cosine 90 is equal to zero. We will discuss that in details in our lesson and we will solve many examples. I hope you will understand this lesson as you have understood the previous lessons. If you have any question, don't hesitate to contact me. Have a pleasant week, everybody. Goodbye.